Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to do a censoring effect. If you don't know what this is, uh, here's a quick example. Alright, so as you can see, it's pretty much like you see on the news kind of thing where they blur out someone's face or pixel it out so you can't recognize who the person is. This can also be used for number plates, like if you look on footage as well on the news or pictures, um, they normally blur out people's number plates if you can see them, just so you can't, I don't know, um, I don't know where I was going with that one, but anyway, moving on. So we want to open up After Effects and import our footage. Now my footage, I just got, it's of Andrew Kramer talking, because I really couldn't find anything I was looking for ages, so I just stole this footage of him talking in an interview. So, um, all we want to do first is go layer new null object. This creates the null object. This will be our guide um, for where to put the blur. You can do this frame by frame or you can do it by motion tracking. I'll be showing you motion tracking because it's slightly faster and yeah, takes less effort. So now go layer and new adjustment layer. Uh, we don't want to touch this adjustment layer just yet so we'll hit the eye to turn it off. Now what we want to do is go window and make sure tracker is ticked and that will pop up down here or somewhere else around your composition space thing after effects works. Yeah, whatever. Um, so now what we want to do is double click on our footage on the timeline here and it will bring up this. We want to make sure our time is at the start and click track motion. This little point will pop up and we want to hit rotation which makes a second track point. Now you want to drag these to points which are going to be visible throughout the whole movie and something that's not going to move so much so I'll just target both of his eyes. Um, as you can see they remain in the frame the whole time. Uh, they don't move too much so it won't take very long. Now that we've got the eyes selected you want to make sure your time indicator is at the start of the timeline and click track forward. Just before we do that though, sorry, you want to make sure your edit target is on your null object. Now click track forward and you'll see it works through frame by frame. You can pretty much sticking to that. Alright, now that that's done, you want to click apply and X and Y and hit OK. Now you'll see your null object is targeted to all of these keyframes down here, which will appear. But we'll just turn those off. Don't want to see them and you'll see a null object sticks pretty much directly to his eye. So now what you want to do is enable your adjustment layer and type in your effects and presets, type in mosaic and this effect will pop up and drag it onto your adjustment layer. As you can see we've got pretty much the effect we're looking for but it's everywhere and we just want to change this so anywhere between 60 and 80 is pretty good so I'll just do 70. It's pretty pixely right there, I can't really see much. Now what we want to do is grab the pen tool, shut off the adjustment layer once again, just so we can see everything clearly, and just pretty much draw around his head. This doesn't really need to be accurate because we can add some feather and change things up a bit. Just drag these in. Alright, now you want to turn your adjustment layer on. Now as you can see, it's pretty much just around his head, nowhere else. That's pretty much the effect we're looking for. If you press F on your keyboard, you can adjust the feather to make it a bit cleaner around the edges and then you want to get the adjustment layer, get the parent and parent it to the null object which is tracking the motion so now pretty much the adjustment layer, the mask, is tracking with the null object if you hit this here you can enable or disable the mask viewing we'll just turn it off for now and we'll turn off the null object so we don't see the red square now as you can see, so I'll just turn this on for now uh, as you can see, the mask should move along with the footage, along with his head. So if we turn that off, you can see pretty much it's looking good. It moves with him, and his face is blurred out throughout the whole composition. So that's pretty much how you do it. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you did, please subscribe, check out my channel, my other tutorials, and I will see you next time.